Hey, it's your boy Chango coming at you with another video. This video is Kanye West texted Shane Gillis with an offer brought to you by Shane Gillis fan. All right, Shane Gillis kick. Let's go. Should I talk about the text I got or is that too intense? Bro, <laughs> one of the craziest things. It was right after you guys saw Yay on Alex Jones. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm on the flight home from thing. No, I was in Austin. Yeah, yeah. I'm watching that the whole day, just like, no, yay, no, <laughs> nay, nay, <laughs> nay. Damn it. I hate to spill the beans, but I got a text that said, yo, it's Yay. And Kanye contacted me. That day. That day he was that day. On his media tour. That night, yes. And he Damn. wanted to work on something. On his media daily storm. And unfortunately, I had to decline. <laughs> yeah. It's a funny thing to have him I mean, it was crazy. It gave me, like, my face got hot. <laughs> I was in an Uber. I was talking to Matt. And I was like, dude. <laughs> yay just texted me. That's crazy. Did you show it's that to the guy yay. next to you? I was in the back of an Uber, just like. <sighs> <laughs> like, he wants to talk right now. I was like. I'm, I'm in an airport. I can't. <laughs> I was just trying, to, trying to buy time. I was like, holy, f holy fuck. Because I knew whatever he said, I was going to say yes. Yeah. I can love Kanye West. I see good things about Hitler also. I love his music. <laughs> You're doing the right thing. I love his music. You're doing so the right much. thing. You're doing the right thing. Yeah, and it was Huge hard. Kanye West fan. Can't stand his music. Everybody's crazy here. All right, we're going to head to break. And then just Kanye, like, while the camera's panning past the desk, he's like, I, I like Hitler. He must have been like, God damn it. Have you thought about texting him about other stuff? No, like I don't want to bother him. Yeah. And I don't. Uh, of course, there's that fame hungry party that's like, yes, do it. Yeah. Yeah. This there's like, that's be doing no. it big and, and then noble. don't and, and then do noble. not do that and then do yeah you're noble i was like yeah dude fucking talk to him right now and you're like I was everybody like, yeah. that was every single person's reaction yeah. was like do it i also had like, no bro, idea we would lose everything i had no idea what his hijinks <laughs> were that day i was like, yeah dude help, definitely hit that him was up. that was the problem anyway, i said dude, did you see what he said and today? i looked it up and went <laughs> also that day was we were on rogan we did like 10 minutes on how great Kanye is. Yeah. Don't you think that some of what people would call mental illness, it allows him to be able to be that, to do that. dynamic on stage? Yeah. And it's a of gift. Of course. It's yeah. a gift, but it's a gift that has to be managed. He says it's a superpower. In no way. I am not bipolar. <laughs> I'm not in some kind of episode, but I may be slightly autistic, like Rain Man. And that's part of my superpower. It's literally Rogan like, right, look Rogan. at this guy, he's a genius. Oh, dude, put up this video of him at the Amazon concert. It's the best thing I've ever seen. And then we get done, I'm, you know, anxiety from doing that podcast. And the next day I'm on the plane like, oh, God, oh, what have I done? Yeah, I mean. And then you get a text from him and it's like, damn. It was a lot. That's a lot. It's a lot to take <laughs> yeah, in. It was a lot. Dude. I'm sweating in my robe. I'm trying to make plans in my robe. Dude, my balls sex, are dropped. Tripping on the floor. I'm having a panic attack in an Uber. I was leaving JFK. Just like, man, I gotta go. I gotta talk to you later, dude. You're not gonna believe what's going on. I'll see you later. I was saying to Shane, the right how funny is it that Kanye in his head is like, well, I'll just go on Gillian Keeps. It'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> if I just, if I get fired here, whatever, I'll just go do Joe Rogan next week and I'll be fine. Anyway, I thought that was funny. No? What? Maybe you could do like supervised po podcasting like they do supervised visitation just to see if you can handle like 15 minutes at a time and a half hour. What do you an mean? Hour. With like, yay? Yeah, just have like a, a word of the state come with you just to see if you can keep it together for like 15. Dude, if I, I would join immediately. <laughs> immediately. He'd be like, this is how I feel. I'd be like, you're exactly right. <laughs> Did you see his uh, subreddit got turned into like a Holocaust awareness thing? <sighs> That's, that is one thing people seem to be a little unaware of. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. Yeah. We're having a laugh. We're having a laugh. <laughs> we're having a goof. There's the most famous person in the world denying the Holocaust right now on a meta level. It's funny. <laughs> on a meta level. Because it's Matt? so ridiculous. Yeah, take yourself out of the equation. It's funny. When he was like, if you were like, <laughs> if you went back in time and he was like, George Bush doesn't care about black people, and you got to sit there in your time machine and go, <laughs> oh, you guys just wait what happens. Yeah. Wait till the lid pops off of this guy. <laughs> That's a funny thing to think about. It is very funny. When you just get out of the fourth dimension, this whole stuff gets kind of funny. 
True. When you can suspend Dude. time, it's like, eh, it's kind of all kind of fun. Yeah, you suspend time. It's all kind of fun if you can suspend time. <laughs> you go to Dr. Shit. <laughs> You're like a Holocaust joke. There's an alternate. Or <laughs> 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 There's an alternate timeline where you, like, the open, only you thing that was different. Like, oh, Chuck, close that, close that. Ooh, that's ooh, terrible. He might be having a bit of a mental breakdown. He could. Yeah, he, is. he could be. Or yeah. he's a genius that's trying to show everybody that you can be a martyr and lose everything publicly. Well, I also... One they, of those things. They, they he could have just gave it all away. I think he's probably... 200,000 martyrs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll be honest. I think this guy's fucking that. <laughs> yeah. Imagine but, him standing next to Mike Myers and just saying, like, there's no way it was six million. And Mike Myers is like, oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> Swing! <laughs> Excuse me? I'll make you powder. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're being liberated. Get the net. <laughs> oh, yeah. Net in the <laughs> That's a good bit, dude. That was a good bit. That was, dude. <laughs> That was a good yo. Yeah, <laughs> Pull over the limo. I need to grab a Yoo-Hoo real quick. <laughs> Did he talk about you or just yeah, yeah, out you out was doing comedy, net. dude? And he was like, oh, these Yahoo. guys were because that was the. I thought you were saying he was he's like doing really, carrot top on. Yeah, or he's he, doing sweet potato top. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he had a bug catching net and a Yoo-Hoo, and he's yeah. doing net and Yahoo. It was bad. It was bad for Trump to meet with Nick and Yay. Okay. I had no idea your voice is gonna sound like that, Netanyahu. Is my hope? You know, it's crazy when Alex Jones. It it's crazy when you're too much for Alex Jones, right? <laughs> <laughs> like holy wow, Kanye is just out there, right? I mean, holy wow. Let's carry on. Point is, the whole subject is quicksand, dude. Yeah. And I'm out. I fight. You get out of it. Then you go. It's very thoughtful. You is know, the ground you? still? Full? And you slip yeah, down yeah. to it up in your nipples. And you're like, dude, it's like, a whole wait, thing. Wait, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Wait, hold on. I got this. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe what Kanye's trying to do. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see what the numbers say. <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually funny if you saw it. <laughs> Dang it. No, we don't have to talk about that stuff. Well, we did. <laughs> I did call my agent to tell him I'm doing it. He's like, yeah, okay. He, that, he was like, he said, the f you are. He was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> he was like, Shane, do no, not no, do no. this. <laughs> <laughs> I put it on speaker. I put it on speaker. Shane, Shane so. was in a convertible. I can't hear you. Yeah. Hung it off through the back seat. Like, <laughs> no, I'm going to do it tomorrow, actually. He wants to fly me tomorrow. He was like, we've worked so hard. <laughs> <laughs> you and all yeah. your friends, you can't do this. <laughs> and I was like, I'm doing it, dude. It's going to be hilarious. <laughs> Yeah. And then I, I was sitting around. I was like, dude, if I was a true artist, I would do it. Yeah. But I'm not. Well, I'm a also, I don't think it's a coward. No, I, think you're you're a I think it's bitch, nice, dude. I think Call it's him nice. now. I think I'm it's a nice coward, to sit back. dude. I should have been on that <laughs> fucking plane, dude. Should have been me, Milo, Fuentes, and Kanye. <laughs> I mean, Good that's a God. tough flight to fly. I mean, just that that's picture. That's a tough two and a half hours, that's dude. Dork City, dude. <laughs> oh, my God. Just that picture alone, dude, would be you know, on the private jet. Milo yeah. was pretending to read the Bible. All, all the people criticizing me would have been on the private jet to Epstein's Island. Yeah. <laughs> They'd be like, I can't believe he's on that <laughs> plane. Yeah. Be like, what about that other jet? Remember that There's other two private jets. jet? There's, There's a two pretty jets. bad private jet that a lot of you guys were on. <laughs> Is Epstein Island still functional? For like kids, or you mean like. <laughs> Holy wow. <clears throat> you know, when it comes to music, the people that I really fuck with, right? I just, it's been a mess, right? So like I was a big Michael Jackson fan growing up. And then like, after the fact, it's like, holy shit, he was just a hot mess, right? I, I'm, it's, I'm, I don't like admitting this, but I was a big R. Kelly fan. <laughs> <laughs> to me, I used to love R. Kelly, like the whole, like his whole R&B, the king of R&B, like I absolutely loved his music. And look how he ended up. And then like, Huge Kanye fan. And he's a hot mess. I also like Drake. He's a hot mess now. There's all this shit going on with him. 
And it's like, do I have bad taste or is Hollywood just fucked up? Because after watching that Nickelodeon show, I don't know, maybe it's not me. Maybe the whole industry is fucked. And the people that haven't gotten into any controversy, maybe it's just one of those, like, it's only a matter of time kind of thing. I don't know. <laughs> For the longest time, I thought I, I just had bad taste, right? But I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't think it's just me. I think the whole industry. I, I feel like the more you look into it, fucking P. Diddy, right? I mean, I was a P. Diddy fan, but never like a huge fan. Maybe like in the late 90s, early 2000s, I, you know, I, I jammed out to his shit, you know, but God. And then it's like, <laughs> after all this shit, like, did he kill Tupac? Did he kill Biggie? And then it's like, how much did Biggie know, right? How much did Mace know? How much did like his whole crew, how much did they know about all the wild shit he had going on? And it's like, before the internet, everybody used to just get away with all that dark shit, but now you got the interwebs and people are starting to notice, right? I don't know. I used to think like way before like cell phones and all that. I used to think to myself like, well, once like cell phones started getting big, I used to think to myself like, um, you know, once everybody has cameras in their pocket, we're going to get to the bottom of the UFO stuff. We're going to get to the bottom of the Bigfoot stuff, right? Because if something happens, you just take a picture, right? It's the first thing you do. And... Ever since that happened, everybody started getting phones in their pockets. It's like, well, there is no Bigfoot, first of all. Because we would have already got like, you, you you have a sighting, you're just going to take a picture, right? Everybody has their phones on them. And the UFO stuff, who fucking knows, right? <laughs> Anyways, I'm off subject. Uh, I'm just rambling now. It's all I really got. You guys take care. Peace out.